hi this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and I'm going to make some vellum laminated vellum or translucent tabs for this pocket rings from Mystic's Little Gifts. So I've already used my Cricut to cut out these gold foil cardstock um, word tab toppers. This is what it looks like. Um, I didn't weed that one very well but so these are ready to go and I'll link to the cut file for the set of 21 of these 21 different words below and these are designed to fit pretty much any size planner they're three inches wide by approximately one inch tall so they should work in your smaller planners as well and instead of using them as top tabs in this one, I'm going to play around with using a side tab. So I have a piece of vellum here. I probably only need just the one for a pocket. I'm going to cut three pieces, three and one quarter by four and three quarters. And that is the size that I'll need for pocket rings. So I'm going to start with the longer side first. And go ahead and cut my four and three quarters. Then we're going to do three and a quarter three times. Oh, and if you see supplies, that was my um, paper trimmer. But if you see me using supplies, I try to link to everything. Um, down below in the description box if I forget please leave a comment and ask I'm happy to tell you what I can and also I have a Amazon influencer shop now so I will be adding all of my favorite craft tools that I actually use to the shop so that you can easily just go to that one place and see everything okay so I cut these down and now I just need to get them set up and ready to laminate. Okay, so I got my three pieces done. Now I'm just going to get a piece of laminate. I think I'm going to do five mil for this. So it can be nice and sturdy. I probably need to get some 10 mil too. Just to have it available. And I got this little um, storage folder, snap pocket, whatever it is, from Dollar Tree. I think. It was either from Dollar Tree or Office Depot. Let me straighten these up. There we go. Okay. So, now I'm just going to set these up and again what I like I did the last time it's kind of hard to see this on this background let's put a piece of black back here so you can see a little better see even I can't see okay so I'm just gonna take a little um, adhesive and adhere these to these I think I'm gonna put it today weekly in the middle then monthly on the bottom like so so I'm just gonna roll I just roll the bare minimum of tape on there Just enough to hold it in place. And I was actually thinking about rounding the corners, but I don't think I will. And again, if you want to decorate these, you can put um, stickers on them either before or after you laminate. Maybe doing it after you laminate is a better idea. That way you can... Um, change them as you want as you need to because um, you can remove them so 
So I'm just going to go ahead and place these in here. And I need to leave enough space, now that I'm thinking about it, to trim. So you don't want to put them too close. So there we have them set up and ready to go. Okay, so now this is ready to go, ready to be trimmed. So let's get the pepper trimmer out again. So I'm just trimming down, again, trying to make sure I miss the bubble. And I show how I line up the edge to trim so that it's basically the same all the way around. In one of the previous um, tab topper videos, so I'll link that up top here so you can see how to do that but basically I just line it up line the edge of whatever I've laminated up to the white edge of the paper trimmer and that gives me enough excess laminate so that the seal remains intact so. these are looking really nice I'm really happy with how they're turning out so nice and elegant so here they are now I'm just going to trim up around this area with my scissors So we want to get rid of those edges, let's see, yeah I'm not liking the way my quarter inch chomper does it, I didn't think I would, so I'm just going to do it with my scissors. You can get something round to help you if you need a little help with that. But basically I just kind of round it off so that those pointy corners don't do any stabbing. So this is what we have. We're going to go this way. Let's do it like this. Oops. Let's turn this off so we can see a little better. Okay. So that's what they look like. Now I'm just going to go in and mark my holes. Thankfully, I already have a pocket size or a few pocket size. So I have options to measure the holes and these dividers with just the basic tab this is one that I cut from an SVG file that's available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com but what I did was first I laminated the parchment paper as you can see they're translucent and then I put the laminated sheet through my Cricut and cut the tab file that's available on the website to make these tabs so I have translucent tabs in my clear binder and this is what they look like so I think those turn out really nice as well so this is kind of another play on that using the tab toppers so oh yeah so I'm just going to take one of these out 
that I've already done and use that as a guide to punch my holes for these new ones. And I think I'm just going to line, I could line it up to the very edge. I'm going to turn this back on. I could line this up to the very edge of the laminate, but I think if I just line it up to the edge of the parchment on the inside and punch, that might work out better. Um, before you do this, you might want to experiment with it just to make sure that your rings are going to be big enough to accommodate that little extra flap of laminate on the ins of laminate on the inside. I think they will, so I'm just going to go for it because I don't want to punch half. Uh, I don't know. That's gonna if I punch all the way to the edge. First of all, it's gonna make my tab stick out more. I don't like the look of the punch when it's halfway on the parchment or whatever you're using. This is on my nail. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to manually punch these, get my sharpie, and draw my holes where the punches will be, and go from there. And I think these are pretty nice because they give you that same frosted look of these type of dividers. And you can kind of do it yourself. So it kind of gives you that same frosted feel. See there. They might not be as tough as, I don't know what that material is. And you can also find a similar material to this in Dollar Tree. They are the... Uh, cut mats let me show you I have some these these chopping mats and you get two for a dollar I think I don't know if they still sell them two for a dollar but it's basically the same material as the divider this might be a little uh, more flexible I don't know but it's pretty much the same material. So you could also cut out your own dividers with this. Just put your own decoration on it as well. And maybe one day we'll do those as also. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and punch these holes. So there we go. They're all punched, ready to go. Let's pop them in and see how they work. Perfect. Okay. And now I can just go ahead and put in my daily inserts my weekly inserts, my monthly inserts, and if I wanted to use any of the other 21 tab toppers, then I could just go ahead and add those as well. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.